Hi guys, so today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make DIY jewelry. Um, so this video is kind of long, so I cut this video into little sections that you guys can slide through the video and it'll be like um, how to make necklaces, um, earrings, all that stuff. So if you guys want to skip through different parts, I'll put the time slots in the description as well so you guys can just go click on those. So first of all, we're just going to talk about our tools really quick. So these are pliers and these are used to open things and these are cutters and these are used to obviously cut chain. If you're using a more heavy duty chain, I would uh, recommend buying some really heavy duty ones. These are from Walmart and these are from Walmart and these are from the jewelry section. So these are specifically used for jewelry. You can also buy some heavy duty um, pliers. These um, tend to not do the job on every single thing. So you're going to need some charms. I get mine off of Etsy. They're really cheap um, whenever you buy them like kind of in bulk. So you can go ahead and look those up on Etsy, whatever style of jewelry you like. Um, and then sometimes you can also find some at Walmart. Um, Walmart doesn't have the best ones. You're not gonna find like specific ones that you're looking for but I did find these little crosses the other day and I really really like them so I went ahead and picked them up um, I think they were about three dollars so what you're also going to need is um, closures so these usually come with chain uh, whenever you buy chain from Walmart um, but you can also just buy like a little packet of these these little ones here are for ball chain this is just a little one for um, smaller ball chain Okay, so if you're going to be making earrings, you're obviously going to need earring thingies. These you also get at Walmart or wherever they sell jewelry supplies. Yeah, and you can get whatever color. You know, it's up to you what kind of color jewelry you like or want to make. Um, personally, I like silver. I've always liked silver, but silver has become really trendy in the past couple of months. Um, and then, so these are for um, earrings. These are going to be made for earrings. You absolutely need these to make any type of jewelry um these are jump rings and this is what the pendants and the little closures are going to go on so you're going to need some of these this i got from walmart as well these come with like all different shapes and sizes i really like just using the big jump rings these are optional if you're going to be making um like chokers and things like that with like ribbon so these are ribbon ends and these are going to be what's going to close it off and be able to take it off and on there's all types of chain different chain um these are just the ones that they usually sell at walmart um and these are obviously not as like high quality these probably are not going to last forever but um if you're just you know wanting to do something really quickly or cheaply these are your best option this is just like standard necklace this is a little bit bigger they also have like that is a lot bigger and thicker you can always buy ball chain ball chain comes in all different sizes um, and this is a little bit harder to find I think you can get it like online I went to my like local hardware store and they had some ball chain there I'd probably get ball chain at like a hardware store this type of ball chain is a little bit different it's a little bit more like rectangular um, this I also just got from Walmart so yeah you want to make some uh, like gothic like chokers there's that I'm gonna teach you guys how to make earrings so you're gonna need two little earrings and then you're gonna need two jump rings and then I'm just gonna be demonstrating with these pendant for the earrings you're gonna need to use the jewelry pliers because these are a lot smaller so what you're going to do is you're going to open this little part up. So basically you need to hold this little ball here back a little bit. So just hold it back. Bend that back a little bit like that. So now that it's open. So now you can see it's open. And then you can either just take the pendant and put it into the earring like so. Like that. And then you can close it back up. Or, you can take the jump ring, open it up, and put the pendant onto the jump ring so that it kind of dangles more. 
So you would just kind of close it up and then put the, the earring on the jump ring like so. And then you would close the earring back up. You need to make sure that you're putting it on right so that this pendant lies the, the right way whenever you put it on. So that is how you make earrings. It's very simple and easy. Next, we're just gonna make good old, old fashioned necklace with a pendant in the middle. So you're gonna need some just standard necklace chain. So for this necklace here, you're gonna need a pendant, three jump chains, and a one closure. And you're gonna go ahead and make the necklace however long you want it. I'm gonna make it a little bit more of a choker style necklace. So you can just kind of cut it however you think you want it. Now, um, I'm gonna make the closure first. I feel like that's the easier part to go. So we're just gonna open our, our jump rings here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to open one of the jump rings and you're going to, and you're going to put it onto one end of the necklace and then you're gonna close it up. You're gonna open another jump ring and you're going to put the closure into this jump ring and you're gonna put this one onto the other end of the necklace. So now it should look like this and you're able to put it on and off. Now you're going to find the middle of the necklace and you're going to take another jump ring and you're going to open it up and you're going to put the pendant into this jump ring. So now you're going to find the middle of the necklace and you're going to take one of the chains and you're just going to put it onto the necklace and close it up. And now it should look like this. It should be directly in the center and it should look like the necklace. Here are some necklaces that I made with um, multiple pendants on them. And it's basically the same thing. You're just gonna make a necklace how you would normally make a necklace. But instead of putting the pendant in the middle, you're gonna kind of spread it out however far you wanna spread it out. Um, but yeah, it's really easy. You can put as many pendants on a necklace as you want. It's really up to you and your creativity. So these like o-rings I got from Walmart as well, they were actually not called o-rings, they were called clip rings and I'm not really sure what they're for but they have a little clip on them. But if you have um, jewelry cutters you can just cut this off so that's what it will look like. And this is a really trendy necklace right now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some chain. And you just cut it to however length you want it. Um, personally, I think I'm just gonna make this a choker. You wanna wrap it around your neck and then like kind of measure where you wanna cut it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my cutters here and then I'm just gonna cut the chain like that. So there's that. So what I'm going to do is take these heavy duty pliers and I'm just going to go ahead and open it up like that. So we're going to use we're going to use one of these chains to go ahead and put it on here like so. So we just literally like put it like that. And then we're going to take it and put it back onto the necklace. So as you can see, we're just like literally just sliding it in. So you want to hold that together. And this is the tricky part is like trying to close it back up. So there's one side. So now we're going to do the other side. These heavy duty pliers make it a lot easier than trying to use um, regular 
jewelry pliers. So this is what it looks like, okay? So now, obviously we need a place for us to be able to clip it on and off. So you wanna try to make, get it in the middle and then wherever the middle is, you're gonna cut that part. Now it is an open necklace like this. So now you're going to need a little closure and you're going to need a big, two big jump rings. You're going to take this and go ahead and open it up. And then you're going to put that into there. And then you can go ahead and close this side because we're not going to put anything in this little jump ring here. And then we're going to open the other one. You want to try not to open these too far out because then it's harder to get them back in the circular shape that they were. We're just putting here. So this little closure has a hole here at the bottom and that's where you're going to put, that's what you're going to put in the little jump ring. You're just going to close that side up. So a really trendy necklace right now seems to be the lock necklaces, it has been a trend for a while. So for this necklace you'll need a lock and a key to the lock. There's all different types of locks you can buy, small ones, big ones, um, different colored ones, silver ones, black ones, it doesn't really matter, just whatever your preference is. And then you're going to need some thicker chain. And so basically you're just going to measure it around your neck. And then you just need to open the sides. You just want to have it open. Um, and then all that you do, literally, you don't need anything else, just the lock. You can make a closure for the back, but honestly, I just like using the key to put it on and off. So then you just open it up, and then you put one side there, or one side there. And then you just close it and this will obviously be around your neck so what this chain looks like just be careful if you're using this method not to lose the key and if you end up losing the key and it's on your neck i would just say cut it off it's really not that hard just get some jewelry cutters so another very easy one just getting one of these little things i really don't know what they're called but they like open up like this and literally, you just need some chain, again, some thicker chain, and then you just put it in, and then you just close it up, and that's it. And this is more industrial looking, and also you could, if you wanted to, make a closure in the back so that you can take it off and on easily. But I just like doing it that way because it's really simple and really easy. Also, this necklace here, um, I got this chain from Walmart. So this thing here, this little clip here is from like the hardware section. And all that you need to do is open one of these up. So you would open it up with the plier. And then you would put that one of these rings at the end because the little bitty jump rings are not going to help. That's not going to work. Jewelry that's a little bit bigger and heavier, little jump rings are not going to work. So that's all that I did. And then just put it on like this. You don't even need to, you know, have any closures. So this is just another example of a necklace that you can make. So this chain here, I think I got from a hardware store, but basically it's the same concept. You're just putting a closure at both of the ends so that it is able to be put on and off. And then here I just put in the middle a little pendant here that I had. Um, so making ball chain necklaces is also really easy to make. All you need is ball chain and it's closure. So the closure just looks like that and you just put it in and then um, I saw this idea on Unif, some girl was wearing a, a bone dog tag thing. So you literally just put that in there like that and then you just close it up. Also, pant chains are really trendy right now. All that you need for a pant chain is some, some heavy duty chain and then some O-rings and some little clips like this. These little clips you can get from Walmart 
in the hardware section. Um, and then these are actually like keychain hooks. Um, and if you, you can use those as an alternative or you can use like these jump rings. These jump rings might be a little bit harder to put on the actual like chain, but yeah, you can just use like little keychain rings and then just put it in like that. And that's really simple and easy to make. And then you just put it on both sides so that you have a pant chain. And this chain here, I also got from a hardware store. It's more like a barbed wire type of look. Okay, so for like a ribbon choker, you're going to need ribbon, obviously. I have this ribbon here. This ribbon is kind of more delicate, and then you need some jump rings, and you need two of these ribbon ends, and then you need a closure. So I'm going to kind of just go down a little bit, not putting it entirely like at the top. I'm just going to kind of go down a little bit, and then we're going to take our pliers, our heavy-duty pliers, and just close it shut. So now it looks like that and we're going to put another one on the other side and on one side you need to have a closure so you can just put the jump ring in like that and just close it back up. So now that you have the closure there and then we need a side to actually, so we're going to put another one of these ribbon ends at the end. And then we're going to put a jump ring on this side so that we're able to put it off and on. like that so now that it is a functioning choker here so you can leave it like that you can have a basic choker or what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a pendant here this is like a, a bird skull here and then i'm going to take also a little o-ring here jump ring and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and open that up and put the pendant in there and then you want to find the middle and then you can just kind of find a place to put this in so there we have our choker with our little pendant i'm going to show you guys how to make a choker with a pendant on this type of ribbon since we don't have like any holes to put in the jump rings so So now for the actual pendant, we're going to take a big jump ring and you're probably even going to want like a little bit bigger than this. And we're going to open that up and we're going to place the pendant inside of it and then we're going to place the, we're just going to like put it in the ribbon and then we're going to go ahead and close it up. So that is what the choker looks like. It's very, very simple and easy to do. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take some chain. I have some um, a little bit thicker chain. This is like more heavy duty. So you're also going to need four jump rings and a closure. We're going to take this safety pin and these safety pins you can get um, in like the sewing section, like where the sewing supplies is at. What we're going to do is we're going to put a jump ring into this little hole here. And then you're going to take your necklace and you're going to put one end of the necklace into that jump ring. So now it should look like that. And now on this end, we're not just going to um, open it up and we're not going to put it in this way. Because as you can see, the necklace is going to sit really weird on this side. Um, so, oh, actually, I guess you could do that, but, um, what I personally like doing, and it just looks a lot more, it just looks a lot more professional and, like, high quality if you do it this way. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a jump ring. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this jump ring, it's already open, and I'm just going to place it like that. So, and now it's going to be in there like that and now we're going to take the other end of the necklace and we're going to put the jump ring onto that and then we're going to close up 
Now it looks like this. And now we're gonna take our jewelry cutters and we're going to find the middle and we're going to just cut it. So now your necklace should look something like this. And we're going to put the closure at, at one end of the necklace. And then you can take a big jump ring and put it on the opposite end. So that is how you make the safety pin necklace that is very trendy and it just looks really nice and really expensive looking. Now we're going to be making this safety pin necklace. The safety pin necklace I actually just bought, but it is very easy to make. So what you're going to need for this necklace, a bunch of safety pins and jump rings and a closure. So this little safety pin box thing you can get at Walmart as well. Um, and it just comes with all different shapes and sizes of safety pins. And I really love using safety pins for jewelry and just like little accessories to add on shirts or pants or whatever so this is a really good little thing to have um and obviously you can make like um earrings with these i'm just going to be taking this size safety pin so i'll probably just be making like a joker length necklace but you can make the, your necklace however long you want to make it so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some jump rings. You're gonna want to use bigger jump rings for this. I'm gonna go ahead and open this jump ring here and we are going to again put the jump ring into this little hole here at the end of the safety pin. You're gonna leave that jump ring open and you're going to take another safety pin and you're just going to put it into this little opening here. So now it is in like that and we're gonna go ahead and close that up. So now it's going to look something like this. One end of the jump ring is on the opening of the safety pin and then the other end is on this little hole here. And we're just going to repeat this step until we have a necklace of our length and desire. Now, once you've made your necklace, you're going to make the closure to take it off and on. Now we have a necklace or choker, whichever length you want it. You can also make a little bracelet um, and it's literally just the same concept as a necklace. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you and um, you guys can make your own jewelry. You can even sell this jewelry like on Depop. I see a lot of people doing that. Um, now it's really affordable and you can make a pretty big profit off of it because it's so cheap so yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye